<clears throat> Sorry! Hear ye, hear ye. Recently, the people were polled on whether they wanted to see an extremely boring hunt where virtually nothing was found at all, or if they wanted to see a delightfully hilarious comedy short. Stupidly, the people have chosen the former. Enjoy! All right, well, I just got here. Uh, I'm waiting for my sister to get here. She's on her way right now. She's coming out again. Today is Operation Get My Sister to Find Her First Arrowhead. I gotta work on the title a little bit there, but something more catchy, but you guys get the point. Gotta find her. She's gotta find one. Anyway, uh, I've only been here like five minutes and I've already come across a couple little flakes so we're already hot on the trail stick around all right so my sister's shadow has arrived now as well so um today is operation get her to make her find her first operation get your <laughs> you have any words of wisdom um, we get started here let's find something cool I, those are the best words ever let's do it all right my sister just got Really nice marble. Orange and white. But I, that was almost completely buried, wasn't it? Yep, just a little orange peeking out. I thought it was a, a little tiny bobber at first. Sure. Yeah. My I sister just found it. Oh, that's amber colored, I think, isn't it? Yeah, I thought it was clear. I don't see any oh, embossing. Man. Even with the top busted, that's still a really nice, nice little bottle there. About Look the at the. Oh, it does have something it's got in the a bottom. Maker, it's got the little. I call it the eyeball. You can look that up and see exactly who made that. And... It's got like finger finger grooves. Oh, does it really? You see that? Oh, it sure does. That's awesome. Got them on both sides. Ergonomically gripped. Just <laughs> found some V's on the ground, and then I also found a pistol magazine. With some another actually that's another magazine or something. Oh no, that's well, that's electronics, but it had a oh that's a capacitor. I thought that was a shell. What are the chances? But that's a uh, that's the real deal right there. We'll leave that right where it's at. Okay, we found a couple things right here. This was kind of neat. This is, uh, I thought this was something carved on. It's just a piece of wood, but it's actually, it's carved on by beavers. They've been, I think this was a knot in the wood or something like that. And they, uh, they chewed away at it. You can see all their teeth marks down there and all over, really. Then I also found this piece of material, which is a deep, dark forest green, and it's been chipped all over. And I've never found a piece of material like this before. I've never seen this color. I would love to find a point made out of that. Oh my goodness, that'd be cool. Call it the swamp thing. All right, this time it was my turn to find a marble. At least I think it's a marble. Yeah. That's pretty. It's a little bit frosted from the river, but take it. I just found an exceptional flake right here, you guys. It's got a nice bullseye on it. My sister and I were just talking that, just imagine there's a, uh, probably a arrowhead laying around out there somewhere with a nice little bullseye on it. Chances are. Cool. We did just find this guy right here, which I think is gonna be a little, I could be wrong, maybe nothing, but I think it's gonna be a little scraper. Uh, that's just a rock. <laughs> All 
All right, it's been a while since I turned the camera back on to talk to you guys here. Um, it's just me and my shadow at this point. My sister had to go home here just a few minutes ago. She had some uh, grocery shopping and stuff she had to do. So unfortunately, I still have not gotten her over the top of her first arrowhead yet, but we're going to at some point. It's just a, it's a matter of, uh, just a matter of when. So as you can see, the water is rapidly rising right now and we pretty much walked all the walkable areas uh, everything else is a lot is underwater today just because we got a pretty good rain recently and uh, so there's not a whole lot more to walk here I don't think but I'm gonna keep trying see if we can get onto some spots still to so stick around Well guys, I think I've kind of reached the end of the line here. I've gone as far as I can go in this area uh, before I'm going to need a kayak. I've reached the end of this point here. So, uh, water's just coming up. I guess they've opened up the dams or something because water's come up several inches just in the last 30 minutes or so. Uh, everything's going underwater. So anyway, we'll, we'll do the regular routine though. We'll walk our way back out and hunt our way through some of the high up dry stuff it's been walked a lot but uh you can't find it all so maybe there'll be something up there sounds like my phone was trying to ring too turn it back on if we spot anything all right guys um so first of all i was about to turn on the camera and then i spotted this little flake here so that's neat um but also I realized I just now, um, first of all, I found something. Sorry, I'm all tongue twisted here because I'm kind of excited. Uh, I found something here and I'd like to get the tripod over it, but I just realized um, it's still sitting at my house on my table. So I forgot that. So we're just gonna pull this and I don't know what it is. It's either, it could be anything. It's either a piece of milk glass or a fish bone, a piece of plastic an artifact, just a flake, I don't know what it is, but it looks, it's got me excited. I don't know. I still don't know what I'm holding on to here. Uh, I think that's a piece of broken milk glass. Yep, it is. <laughs> Poop. Yeah, for a second there, I thought I was about to pull something really great. <coughs> okay, well, they can't all be winners. All right, I see something right here. Don't know what it is. Could be just a flake. looks like what it is a chip actually when it's flaky I call it a flake when it's chunky I call it a chip chip chunk flakeman 